Okay, I'm just going to finish it up on video because I don't know what's happening with that Facebook stuff. And I want it on video anyways because I don't want Facebook owning the rights to all my stuff. Anywho, I left off where... Where did I leave off? They reported me to the board. Oh, I moved to Texas. And so, I got wind of that they wanted to file these charges against me. Wanted me to submit to a... a Like, just plead guilty. Like, I'm just, like, I'm just old drug head and I'm just going to go to nurse recovery program and all this and that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not no drug head. I took the, the prescription that was given to me at the, the hospital. And I felt that all oh, this was done in retaliation, which is against federal laws. Anyways, nobody stood up for them retaliating, which was specifically a retaliation when you walk in being threatened uh, on a drug test that they don't even know if it's positive or negative that they're gonna report you to the board that I've already went and filed complaints on this lady uh, multiple times with HR so that was a failure drop, dropping of the ball of that facility to let that go on in that manner those HR people um I said I need to get some legal representation and so this is where this part comes in at I decided to uh, trust someone that was from hometown Alexandria that was also there now with me in Houston uh, that I thought would be a good fit to take my case. They they represented themselves as stating that they've taken cases like this before. They stated that they had represented uh doctors to their uh to the doctors' boards. And so I felt that this person would be uh a good fit to uh take my case. Um, first of all, let me get the um, stuff in order. And I need, I don't know, if, attorneys, if this is how this is supposed to go, let me know. If not, what should I have done differently or what can somebody do differently in the future so they won't have these issues? I thought that um, I was going about this the right way. But, you know, when people got it out to do how they want to do you, they're going to do that anyways. I'm trying to find out, trying to find the retainer of when he was retained. So this came in because I see, you know, and this is my up my concern because how you concern. For a single, I'm a single mother. And all this happened, I, well, I've been single. I ain't never been married. Y'all see me trying to find a husband on Facebook. And none of y'all won't help me. Um, Give me a referral or something. But anywho, um, I'm a single mother. But today you helping single mothers out giving them gift cards. But I was a single mother and you had no concern about my case. About me paying $3,500 and me not feeling that. What what did you do for $3,500? Attorneys, please tell me how y'all charge people for uh, cases such as this. Uh, to retain them. I, it was a retainer to represent me, represent me in front of the Board of Nursing. With them trying to take my license uh, for what I told you. Taking medicine and going to work. So, you know... 
as a nerd, you try to be oh be good and I was really trying to be good because that's baby before that I will pick that phone up and didn't give a kahoot about what. But that taught me there when I don't feel good, I'm picking up the phone every time. So nurses pick that phone up when you're not feeling good. Pick it up and tell them you can't you can't make it in. You can't make it in. Because see, they use that against me. This is some of them, some of the stuff. Okay. This is the retainer. Engagement letter and retainer. I retained this attorney. It said that, uh, we ain't even got no, no date date on now. But it was a, a, a retainer. So the reason was, I guess that's just the, um, it wasn't specific. It was just a retainer. And it said that I was going to pay $2,000. I paid $2,000 on that date. And it's not a date specific. And then I was going to pay $750 per month due in October and November. So that was a total of $3,500 that I paid as a retainer for this attorney. Okay. And I don't have the exact date. Let me see. Maybe this facts. Okay. I paid paid $3,500. I had to pay the $2,000 before we uh, made a schedule. We made a schedule to go down to see the evidence that the board had. Because as a, when they report you to the board, you have a right to go down and review evidence. Let me see if I have that date. I know I got that date in here because let me tell you something about me. When I get to digging and prying and think I have to find some, some receipts, that's what I'm going to do. And so, as I read through some of this stuff, you'll see that the attorney made it seem like they had to drive from Houston to go to... Uh, Baton Rouge to meet me, and that was part of the money in the $3,500. But in reality, so back then, you know how everybody was just getting on uh, social media. I got uh, somewhere here in these receipts where the attorney was already in Louisiana and only drove. To meet me from Alexandria. Not all the way from Houston. And so. That's that's because in one of his. Uh, explanations. He's, he put that in there as part of. <coughs> like a fee. The part of with the $3,500. I guess it was for. I don't know how they. Um, document fees and such have. You know how that how that went against the retainer because I never got a bill, I never never got a closed account, I never got anything from this attorney um, on the work that he, the work he did for me. Um, so we did go down. This is what we did. I paid two thousand, and I paid um, the other seven fifty seven fifty, which the whole thirty five hundred dollars was paid. So, what was done was, we went down to the Board of Nursing one day. I drove from Houston early that morning to meet in Baton Rouge at the Board of Nursing. When we got there, we went and looked at the evidence. 
amongst looking at the evidence, I guess he started feeling real comfortable because he started getting real unprofessional with the lady that was there. Just making like little comments that was unnecessary. And I put that in some of my complaints too. So this is not no hearsay, she say. Really, I don't know if he was trying to flatter her to get her on my side or what, but it wasn't needed because the evidence that we went down there and looked at was bullshit. You had statements from people that didn't sign their names. Nothing was related to me being uh, inebriated or this or that. And, you know, the, the bad part about it is because you, this director reported me as being, uh, <clears throat> you know, reported me to, to uh, employee health when you had nurses that were actually working there on the unit in the recovery program that gave themselves injections that they got from their friends in the ER in the middle of the nursing station in front of her and the other manager. And me and Renee and Billy would just look at each other like, is this really happening? He going to give himself an injection that he just admitted he got from his friend in the ER out the Pixis. And he in the recovery program and give himself an injection. But you going to send me? You send me to the board? But you're not sending him to the board. You see what I'm saying? So it was a bunch of lopsidedness going on on this floor. So, like I said, it was a lot of things that I was like, they was kiki and shoe showing too much. I was really getting pissed off about it. You know, I felt like they ain't have no evidence against me. So I'm, I'm ready to fight this all the way. Oh, well, you fight this, you're going to have to pay for all the people to come from here. I ain't have no money in, but you know what? I believed in God. I stood on what God had told me, and I knew that I'm not no child that they're trying to make pay me out to be. That's what I stood on. So I left there kind of, you know, vindicated a little bit because I'm like, they don't even have no evidence. They trying to take my license because of this? Oh, well, we, oh, if you will, if you sign this, let me find this paperwork. They wanted me to sign something saying that, oh, here you go, right here. Try, yes, ma'am. I keep, I keep my receipts, honey. Keep your receipts, babies. Y'all get a job. I tell my new, uh, I tell people, especially when you're working for the federal government, Lord have mercy, get you a binder day one and start it, make a journal every day. Write it down. Write it down. You hear me? Now, this is what they wanted me to do. Oh, listen to this. This this is stuff that this is the stuff they was reporting here, right here. Uh the Louisiana State Board of Nursing. On February 18, 2005, respondent was licensed by exam to practice as a registered nurse in Louisiana. Number two, between December 30th, 2014 and February 2nd, 2015, while employed as a registered nurse in the behavioral health unit, respondent exhibited unprofessional conduct that disrupted the work behavior and demonstrated impaired behavior while on duty. Specifically, this is what I tell you about on the 24th. When I refused to take assignment, respondent exhibited unprofessional conduct that that disrupted the work environment. When she was informed, she was the only registered nurse on duty. Respondent displayed a negative attitude. Of course, yeah, it was real negative. Engaged in declaration of duty when she refused to take report on her patients. Y'all hear that, nurses? Exhibited poor problem-solving skills. I should have got up and left. That would get a lot better. And display behaviors of insubordination when she called her director and yelled at her director. Mm. On December 30th, 2014, respondent received an associate, oh, this is what it was, an associate performance improvement 
perform performance improvement plan. That's the word I couldn't think of earlier. And was placed on probation for six months and was not allowed to assume the duties as charge nurse. <coughs> so they took my charge. They on paper, they took my charge nurse duties away. But the woman that I was working with wasn't even fit to, to do the duties. So I still was. No, you know what? I show. I said back. I didn't let them fall. You show right. I sat back and let them fall because she wasn't. Didn't want to do them. It was a hot mess up there every day. And that caused them to have more work on them. And I just sat back the while I was there and let it roll. So did. Yeah. Y'all think y'all hurting me. Y'all hurting yourself. Because Bill ain't want to have no parts of being charge nurse. No parts of it. What else this is? On January 30th, responded work, reported to work, unable to complete her duties due to impairment. Responded was having difficulty logging onto her computer. Had an unsteady gait and slurred speech. Responded was observed wrapped in a blanket because I was cold. All, I said by that window, it was airish. Off balance, spilling coffee and appeared very sleepy. Responded stated that she was unaware of the degree of her impairment due to medication prescribed by her physician the day before. Responded was prescribed Trazolone 0.25 milligrams. Responder was driven home by security, and it was determined the responder was unsafe to drive. On February 2nd, the responder received an, pro and was oh, received an associate performance improvement form and was terminated due to her violation of her performance improvement plan. So they said they, they fired me because of the performance improvement plan, but they fired me because I had a negative drug test. Or I came to work sleeping. Y'all figure that one out. Somebody, I want some feedback from this video, please, y'all. I know it's long. But let me get back to the, so this is why I hired this person. To help me fight these charges. Which, if I was doing drugs, yeah, okay, I take my lick. But I was not doing drugs. I was simply being a patient, taking medicine that I had no idea how I was going to gonna affect me so nurses when you have new medication don't go to work next day don't get set up for the okie doke which your director may be cool or whatever i don't know you know stay act like they cool and then you know how they do but just learn from learn from some of these mistakes that i made so what they wanted me to do was apply to a consent order Wanted me to do an outpatient evaluation. Uh, take drug tests. Be, be up. How am I going to do random drug tests? I wasn't even in the state of Louisiana no more. I done moved on to Texas. Uh, rain free of alcohol. All the stuff they want me to do was want me to act, act like I'm some kind of drug head. I wasn't for it, people. I wasn't for it. And, and I hired this lawyer. To uh to, to back me up with this. Don't be detected at the outside camera. But let's just say that what the lawyer did was he met with me at the nursing board office to review the evidence. After that, the only thing was done was signed uh he sent one email. Maybe two, but I know of one email. I did, uh, I have a, still have a copy of my negative drug test screen right here. I just want to know how, as an attorney, that you can be concerned about single mothers one year and unconcerned about them the next year. That's my whole concern. And then... I'm not the only one that seemed like had problems because I got somebody else saying that their family too had issues with the attorney. So I can go through here and read this disciplinary counsel stuff. Now, let me say, I did report to the Louisiana Attorney Disciplinary Board and I did report to the Texas Board. They did not find him guilty of any charges but to make sure there's anything that's good i don't know i'm on lot. I'm, I'm recording oh. um but let me wrap this up um they did not find him guilty of any charges but 
the thing is, uh, I thought that the 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 behavior was unprofessional, unprofessional. Um, I can go ahead and fix y'all. Yeah. Me, yeah. See what you can make out of three. Oh, uh, cause I'm I'm still doing them. Um, like I said, let me just read some of the text messages and some of the emails. I don't know what 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 was if you're an attorney and you're viewing this, what would you charge me to uh meet me at the board of nursing for a meeting to review evidence and for a uh let's see and, and to send a couple of emails because that's all all you done. So this is how this is our the text message log. Good morning, Miss Karen. This is attorney blank. What is a good time to meet on today? How about 11? Okay, okay. This tells me when we met the uh, September 23rd. That's when I signed the retainer. Perfect. See you then. I said, okay. Another message. I got a quote later there. Yeah, I got brand new. I, I might have some tartar sauce in there. It says, I got a, out of court later than expected. I really do apologize. I said, it's okay. Okay, next test message. Good morning, Karen. How are you? Please call. And this was him giving me uh, a reference because I thought that the uh, my employer was at fault because I thought it was should have been a retaliation issue. And he was giving me a, a referral for that. So that's what that text message is about. Um... I got some tortoise sauce in that too. And it's got onion. Oh, okay. I do. Look right there. Oh, and that green thing. Okay, so after that email, thanks. I'm almost finished with the timeline. So I was giving him a timeline. It may have, I will have it ready by Monday. I contacted Dr. Bevels as well for the progress notes. I also have my son locate old notes I have from my timeline at Cabrini. I will have them emailed to you. He said, good deal. Have an awesome weekend. Hope you had a great weekend. Please check your email. And it says what? Hope you had a great weekend. Yes. Oh, I put yes. Just not long enough. Email check. Looks good. I know, right? Great. We'll let you know something as 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 I hear something. Hi there. This is just a reminder. Now he he ain't hesitate on reminding me about my payments. Hi there. Just a reminder that a seven hundred fifty dollar. Listen to this. Hi there. Just a reminder that a seven hundred and fifty dollar payment is due prior to our meeting in BR. FYI, I have new offices address. Please let me know where when you are ready. And I put what's your new location. He sent his new location. Okay, another. Please check your email. We'll be in the office this afternoon. I'm leaving now. Can we meet somewhere? I'm. I said I'm on the southwest side. I get off at three thirty. He said, "Okay." Do you have Chase Quick Pay? I said, "Let me see." Oh, and then I said, "Yes, I have it." What's your information to send? Also, I said the paralegal has not gotten in contact with me yet. Which account should I deposit the money in? Do you have a Chase account? I said, yes. Can you set up a Chase Quick Pay account? I say I have one. Okay, send now, please. You can add me with my cell phone and email address. You should have both. Then I put sent. So I sent him that $750, that first one. He says, got it. We'll email receipt tomorrow. Did you get my email today? Got it. I will email receipt tomorrow. Did you get my email today? Yes. And some of them might be, uh, I might be repeating because when I was, um, making copies, sometimes it, it repeated the text message. He gonna say, hey, boo. Now, this is my attorney now. Hey, boo. That's professional. Just a reminder, in the morning at 11, let's be there no later than 1030. Thank you. 
So this was when we was meeting at the uh the board of nursing. Now this is on October second. Guess what? He was late. Your good old hey boo professional attorney was late for the meeting. I put I'm leaving Houston now. I have my son with me too. He says have a safe trip. I came down last night. So that lets you know he was already down in Louisiana. I know he, he last night has not arrived. Request information. So I put I'm here, and I don't have the times because it's too bright. But I still got it on my cell phone in my iCloud. He gonna say right down the street. I said okay. He gonna say is it off Highland? Now you right down the street, but you asking all these questions. I said Perkins down from Blue Bayou. <clears throat> Turn right by the state troopers office. Okay. First contact by email with LSB. Okay. Good morning. I sent you an email with some information that I jotted down after our meeting. I also submitted the timeline of employment. If you need something else, let me know. If I think of something to add, I will let you know. Thanks for your hard work defending me. That's what I sent to him. Which I was kind of not really, like I told y'all, I was not too impressed with, with the meeting at the thing because some of the unprofessionalness that I saw going on, but I'm trying to, I'm starting to spend $3,500. I'm trying to make the best of this thing right now. You know what I'm saying? I was just thinking about you. Good morning. We'll check it out. What did you think of the meeting? That's what he's put me. That's what he asked me. I can't believe a professional group such as the State Board of Nursing would have me defend such unsubstantial charges. I need employ I need an employment attorney. They even submitted a letter typed by Nicole and Carol, those were the managers, from a patient saying, I walked in and asked if anything changed and walked out. If they thought I had done something in error, why didn't they call me into the office and write me up? That shows the poor management skills. My people didn't accept your case. He was asking about the other people. I said, no, they didn't, but I really need one. Here go another one. Hey, Miss Karen, hope all is well. This is blank. Please, this is this is the second one now. This is the second one. He got the reminders typed out and uh highlighted in that phone to remind you about paying that money. Hi, please don't forget about your final payment of $750 that is due and owing. Please pay this week. But you still hadn't even done that. We don't have no case set up. We don't have nothing. You just went with me to the state board of nursing and you text messaging me. That's it. So attorneys, what do y'all charge for? I need to know. I'm asking for myself. He going to say, I haven't forgot about you, about it. I don't get paid. Oh, no, this is me. I say, I haven't forgot about it. I don't get paid until next week. Is there any way I can break it up into two payments? I think this was around Christmas time. Y'all know how it is. I'm a single mother. He says, sure, you can do half today and half the next week when you get paid. So he was leaning on me in that aspect right there. I won't have the half until next, next Wednesday. Okay, and the second half. And I, I must have didn't say. Hello, Karen. Hope all is well. Please let me know what time you would like to make payment on tomorrow. So most times he was contacting me. He 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 want that money. Can I pay through Chase Pay? Yes, ma'am. Like you did last. Good morning, Karen. I'm just going over these text messages. I know y'all probably want to hear this. What time can you do quick pay? I said it's sent. Thank you. Hey, Miss Karen. Hope all is well. I received a call from the nursing board. Please make a payment. So listen to this. Now this is from the attorney. Hi, Miss Karen. Hope all is well. I received a call from the nursing board. Please make a payment so that I can call them back and see what needs to be done to wrap this up. Your balance is three seventy five. Now I only owe three seventy five. You got a thirty five hundred dollar retainer. The only thing we've been down there to do was look at the board. So why is the 375 pressing? Shouldn't it be based on the work you've done anyways? I mean, you retain me to you retain a attorney to represent you, but if there's no representation, then what does the money go for? That's what I need to know. Like, am I should I just shut up and be happy? I paid uh I please I want an attorney to tell me this. Shut up because I paid three I got my thirty five hundred dollars worth or what? Did I get my $3,500 worth? That's what I want to know. I'm expecting nothing less than a full dismissal. This me, because I don't, I don't do the half stepping. You hear me? 
When I go, I'm going for gusto. Either it's all or nothing for me, baby. I went to Dr. Belvis over the holidays and found out that one of my medication increases the half life of the halcyon. So that's why the halcyon did that to me, because another medication I was taking increases the half life. I fell from a car. Didn't I just tell y'all that on the first thing? <laughs> but that ain't got nothing to do with it. Half life, the half life of a medication is how much is in your body at the present time. I didn't know that. And and I only found that out during the holidays because I had added the new medicine then. They didn't even have that on file in my doctor's note at the time, or we could have figured that out at the time. But look, all this, the sending me the drug testing and trying to make me out to be a drug ha uh, head, and this is the reason. So that would have prolonged the effects of the medication, the Halcyon that I took. And I have the information. I kept the uh the pharmacology, uh, you know, the little papers come with the medicine. He said, please email me that info. Basically, I didn't try my own case. That's why I want to go to paralegal school more so than nurse practitioner. Because, hell, I tried my own damn case. Give me my damn $3,500. Hell, I figured it out. I didn't give you all of that. I got damn answers. Hell, you ain't had to do shit but just... Give them what the fuck, you know, give them what I, I gave you. That's why I put it up there. Um, hello, Miss Karen. Hope all is well. Need your final payment of 375 ASAP. Final payment sent. Thank you, Miss Karen. Hi, I haven't heard anything regarding my case. Are there any updates? Now, this is going on. This was like after some time. He, this is what he tells me. No news is good news. I asked her to call me, and she said she would. This was four months ago. Now, attorneys, when y'all have a case, how long do y'all sit on it and let it go? Like, what? what is what? I don't know, y'all. I, I guess I should have brought this to the table longer before now because I did have some answers. Now, then I sent a So, after that, and I don't have, I'm not reading the dates because this paper is too bright, and I can't see. But now, I, the next testament, I say, I say it's been longer than a year now. It was over a year. We still hadn't heard from these people. That was four months ago. Okay, it's been longer than a year now. He says, I know. He gonna, this is what he tells me. He got my $3,500. He didn't text me. He ain't got no reason to text me no more. He's, this is what he tells me. I know. Continue living your life. You're good. Your Louisiana nurse's license is in good standing. I put, it's inactive. Okay, just keep me posted. Because by that time, I had already had my Texas license. And so I was working off my Texas license anyways. I wasn't going to renew my nursing license for Louisiana because I wasn't, I had moved to Texas, remember? So it's inactive. What you mean? Like, you don't even know what's going on. I say, that's by your choice. He going to say, now nah, I say it's inactive. He going to say, that's by your choice, right? I said, yes. Because I didn't renew my nursing license. Okay, he going to say, just checking on you. I believe we're good. We would have heard something by now. The fact that they know we are serious about protecting your license will deter any further action by them. And he going to sign his name. I put, I hope so. So that was the last of the text messages. Now, which are some attorney, please tell me. Please tell me, is that right? Like, am I wrong? Am I right? What happens when you pay an attorney $3,500? Like, what does that go to? Why didn't I get a, a engine on my case? Why did I know what charges I was charged for? Should I get a refund? I tried to go into uh, Texas. Like I said, I did report to both bars, Louisiana and Texas bar. They did not find any wrongdoing. They just put it as an inquiry. Not like there's no formal complaint or a disciplinary action against him but they said that we could go into the cap program but the cap had to be something that we both wanted to go into and he refused to go into the cap program so you know i want to know how i can get my my money back really i need my money okay i'm not gonna go through all these uh all these emails i do have a ton of emails that 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 um um, I have, but I do want to read one, and that's that final one. When I, I, you know, the shit that hit the fan, so to say. 
Okay. The first one I wrote, this was on November 1st of 2016. I'm sorry at your disappointment in my work thus far, especially the fact that it says that you... Okay. Oh, I must have... Um... I put, on November 1st, 2016, I put, I retained you to represent me at a hearing with the Louisiana State Board of Nursing. We reviewed evidence in October 2015. Since that day, you have verbally stated that you have done nothing else. There's nothing to do. I have contacted you at least twice. On both occasions, you have instructed me to contact the board myself, which is outside of the attorney-client agreement. I am requesting that you contact the board to obtain a status of my investigation. Please mail me with their response. I retain you to seek closure with my situation. You have only advised me to not worry. No news is good news. This is my life and livelihood. I didn't retain you to have this hanging over my head for the rest of my career. You, have, you said that you were in this to the end, but it only seems that you were in this to get paid. I want closure in this matter. This is his response. I am sorry at your disappointment with my work thus far, especially the fact that it seems that you, especially the fact that it seems to you that I am only concerned about money. Nevertheless, I pray that we can get back on the right track and bring the finality that you right, rightfully deserve. On today, I emailed Miss. He emailed the lady. As you remember, she's the lady who we met with last October. It has been and still is my position that we not pester the board with an inquiry that concerns whether or not you will be having will have a hearing. This now forces them to make a decision regarding this. When I believe a decision has already been made due to her inaction up until this point. However, as a client, you make the decisions and I have to follow those decisions. My job is only to advise. Nevertheless, please let me know if you have any questions or concerns, and I will try to find the answer them properly as as possible. Okay, I don't know if that's right. Was I was I barking up a tree I didn't want to bark on? These people talking about they want me to go to drug rehab. What the hell? Like I I ain't getting it. I, I'm saying like I need to know what's going on. Okay, this is November. This this I I I must um I must uh start calling on my own. Like like like. See, that's why I don't have a husband. Because if you ain't moving fast enough, I'm gonna move for you. And so that is part of my problem. So I started moving for myself. So that's why I need my money too. Because I did my own work. Again, this 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 my email. When I spoke to the board today, the person in investigation says that my case is closed. She transferred me to blank, that lady, who basically stated that since my license is inactive, I will continue with an open action on my Louisiana license. Basically, she still wants to, com me wants to comply with the consent order, which is not an option. Going into this, I never wanted this to linger on, and I thought you were on the same page too. But they need to make a decision. If they have no evidence, they need to completely close this matter. Why would I be penalized? Either they request the hearing or close the case, point blank. And yes, the last two times I contacted you, I feel that I have been brushed off. I believe that I paid you to contact the board on my behalf. I hope we can get back on track. Okay. Let me see what else is next. He emailed back, yes, ma'am. Mm. Okay. You ain't get no chips. Uh -uh, I ain't no chips. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, how was it? It was good. It was good. Wish I had some more oysters. <laughs> uh, you know what? I had some more in there too. Now that I think about it, but they was frozen. Hold on, I'm almost through with this. I'm trying to make sure I read. Are we on the same page? We never wanted to comply with the consent order. They were either going to dismiss them. You said that you spoke with the board. Said you're going to close. 
Oh, now this, he, look, look, look. Okay, so he don't even know what's going on. Um, We are on the same page. We are, We never wanted to comply with the consent order. There, They were either going to dismiss or we were going to have a hearing in front of the board. We made that very clear in our meeting with, with the lady. You said that you spoke with the board and they said your case was closed. Which is it? He don't even know. Like, are you being, like, are you serious right now? I will get in touch with you once I hear from the lady. Uh-uh, it's got, uh, look in the refrigerator. Investigation state that the case was closed. What you got? If I want to reinstate my license, I will either have to comply with the consent order or request a hearing. They should request a hearing, not me. They, they the ones saying I did something wrong. Well, I'm going to request a hearing. Like, this was all kind of backward stuff. Y'all, this tea, it's got juice, some pink lemonade or something, don't it? You I just bought this. Okay, here we go again. Now, y'all remember them, them, uh, them, them messages I wrote earlier? Good morning, Miss Davis. I spoke with Blank. She explained to me that what was going on. Can you please give me a call when you get a moment? She told me that you placed yourself into inactive status when it was time to renew. Remember I read the text messages and told and said that, y'all, that I was inactive? Yeah, I remember that, huh? I look back through our communication and didn't see where you apprised me of this action. Y'all hear that, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the email now. If we're going to be on the same page, I at least expect you to tell me something of that nature. Now, this is him telling me this now, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all see how I keep up receipts, huh? So, y'all already know I'm, I'm about to go off in the next email. About oh, I can't find it. It's so bright. Let me see what I answered. I know I had to say. Uh-uh. I'm talking to the camera. But y'all can chime in. Let me see. He says, without my knowledge, you place yourself in inactive status. That is why I have not heard from them. We will need to request a hearing or sign a consent order. Now, you hear him telling me this? We need to request a hearing or sign the consent order. Since you advise that we are not signing the consent order, it is my position that we request a hearing. Now, y'all know I'm about to go all the way off somewhere. I can't see some of this stuff because it's so light. But I know. Here we go on November 2nd. I spoke to you at least twice and told you that my license was, was inactive. You asked, was this by choice? And I said, yes. Once again, it seems that you have not been paying attention to our conversations. That's me. I'm trying to be nice, y'all. Oh, take that stuff back for Tania, too. That, um... That water right there. The big water. Uh-huh. That water right there. And that can with that pacifier on top. Oh, all that. Yeah, it's got to look the bags everywhere. That's it? Yeah, for now. I'm glad y'all came by and ate them. Yeah, okay. I'm ready to eat too. Oh, no, what? The I tried to use it. That ain't jelly. Oh. You want a jelly on your po' boy? Mm-mm. That's no. grease. That's bacon grease. Oh, okay. Hey, that's a good idea. Because I got, I was trying to figure out today where I'm going to put all that extra bacon grease. Uh-huh, I put them in my jaws like that. Well, we don't use a whole lot, but the bacon that I pick. Oh. It's an old, okay. Old, uh, Here go my response, John. Ooh, I meant I did not mean to say his name. I told you I was putting my license inactive. Then you asked, was it my choice or the boy's choice? Please don't act as if you are not aware of this. I, I've been asking you about my case for several months now, and you've taken the stance that no news is good news. You have not been proactive in my case at all. To never had. At all. Two, 
I never was my mistype of mine. Never had your paralegal reach out to me and prepare my case. It's been over a year. At this point, moving forward with you doesn't seem in my best interest. I'm disappointed to say the least. Just to recap our earlier conversation, huh? Okay, I love you too. You. Okay, y'all welcome. Y'all be careful. Okay. Bye, KK. Just to, this is from uh, this is from me. Just to recap our earlier conversation, at this time I will not request a hearing from the Minnesota Board of Nursing. If and when I decide to receive my nurse nice, I will contact you to move forward with my case. So, okay, y'all, during this time, what was going on was, um, I was, I had started a job where I had to get licensed in, like, all kind of states. Like, 11 states I had to get, that's when I was working for, uh, the insurance company. We was on the phone, and so we had to be licensed in all the states that we took calls from. And so, I was having to, um, report what was going on to all these states to the, uh, to their nursing boards. All they nursing boys had to look at my license to see if they was going to give me a license in they nursing boys. It was very, very stressful, y'all. Very stressful. So, um, I called, I think my job called. So he's going to say, the lady that I was working with said something unprofessional to one of the nursing people. Um, I think it was Connecticut because they were so nice to me. And she was, they was like very, they was like, oh, like what's going on? <laughs> so they saw how unprofessional she was. So I'm telling him about it. He going to say, please let the license department know that you're a voluntary and active in Louisiana. As agreed verbally, we, memor we memorialized through email. I will contact them when you are ready to have a hearing. I will be out of office till Tuesday. So if he's keep telling me, so if I'm not ready to have a hearing, why can't I get my money back? If I never contacted you to have a hearing, why haven't you returned my money? If this is what you're waiting on. Because it's not going to happen, Jackson. I said again, so are you suggesting I contact them to find out the information? Now I'm paying him. He, he's steady telling me to contact the board. Now, what, what's going on, people? Do me one, two, baby. Two, two. This is what I'm saying. This is me, being me. Y'all know how I get some of my people that know me. I need you to contact the board on tomorrow and obtain the following information. My employee needs to know how to verify my license. Because they wouldn't, they wouldn't, ver that's what it was. They wouldn't verify my license. And they, <laughs> they was unprofessional. Y'all, y'all be thanking people professionals. Lord have mercy. I put is there a fee? And is there a special form they need to send in? Now these people not now you acting shyster with, with my uh my job now. You done got real petty. That was petty. I'm resubmitting this email. This is time sensitive and requested by my employer. He wasn't answering me, y'all. So this, that that first one I read y'all was on November seventh. I'm following up on November 9th. He ain't asking for no money. You see what I'm saying, y'all? On the tenth, I will call again. I called on yesterday, but not get a call back. I'm going to send an email as well. Am I asking too much for thirty five hundred dollars, y'all? From just me on the on the on the fifteenth, I'm still waiting on the information I requested. No information from him, y'all. Just on the fifteenth, so y'all know my my gasket them blue. 
he going to answer this on the 15th from him. I still have not heard from them. When they do, you will be the first to know. Please let me know when you're ready for me to request a hearing. Y'all keep saying how you keep, keep trying to go back to request a hearing? I still ain't had a hearing, so where's my money? Where's my $3,500? What portion of that do I get back for not having gone to a hearing with you and retaining you as an attorney? I need Somebody need to tell me, do I get some money back? Like, what? what is the process? Some of these emails are just, they got all out of sync and I was, got multiple some. Okay, this is me on the on the 16th. I'm very disappointed in your efforts to provide me with the information I requested in addition to your lack of knowledge that you have provided me thus far. At this point, I don't believe in the ability to effectively represent me in this matter. I need a response in the requested information by 4 p.m. on tomorrow, 11-17. This is response. Ma'am, I'm not going to continue to allow you to disrespect me. Can anybody in the emails, have I been disrespectful in any of the emails? Can somebody please call me out? Karen needs somebody to call. I need to be called out if I'm wrong. Have I been disrespectful in any of the emails? Either you speak to me in a dignified manner, the same way I do to you, but he calling me boo. That was dignified being called boo. Or find another lawyer. Where, where's my money? Where is my $3,500 that I should get back? If you tell him, where is my money? I told, and this in caps, y'all. He's going to write this in caps. I told you that I have not heard back from the nursing board. Just last week, you told me that you would contact me once you decided whether or not you would proceed with a hearing in Louisiana. Now you're asking me for information from the nursing board that I do not know. And because I do not know, there is some lack of knowledge on my part. Attorneys, what you call it? I don't know. There are nursing board questions. Once I hear back from the board, I will let you know. Nevertheless, respect me. I'm not asking but demanding or refrain from contacting me. I will make your file available at my office if need be. <coughs> Never did. Never did. This is my last time that I'm addressing this issue with you, Miss Davis. If you continue using the tone and tenor, I will have no choice but to return your file and disengage you as a client. That's for the single mothers out there. Okay. Like I said, this is... uh. And if I'm not going to go into reading all the stuff that I put in. And I will on a second live if I need to. Just let me know. I'll go into reading what I, the, the responses that he gave. And I'll go into my complaints that I submitted if I need to. But this is the, uh, when we had, I had to go back on, on some iPhone shit. And, uh, show that he was not in the state of Texas, as he, I think, claimed in some of the uh, correspondence, uh, as far as maybe trying to charge me for going to the board and stuff. So that's just what this receipt is. But this has been about an hour. I'm going to post this up on my uh, Facebook. I didn't finish the live because the live was going in and out with... Uh, the Wi-Fi, I don't know what happened, but this is part two. Somebody, if you want to, don't, I know maybe you don't want to, um, you can call me. I'll give you my number if you DM me. Please, and I please want some attorneys to look at this and tell me what the issue is. Like, am I wrong? What should have happened? What's the correct way to do this? I thank y'all for y'all time, for my nurses. They try to get us any way they can. Don't let them, we, we got to take care of ourselves because they, you know, they're, they, when they don't like you, they'll try to do you any kind of way. And it's sad that these uh, 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 employers allow them to do this type of stuff, which this is, it's retaliation all over the books. Because I was, all, we had already been to HR on this lady. So th this is how they do you, especially, and I'm going to say it, black nurses. Black nurses, my new nurses coming in, y'all watch out. Y'all CYA, y'all write it down, jot it down, and just, baby, keep your receipts.